I can actually remember using very destru environmentally destructive products such as uh, DDT of all things. You know, when we were small, we used to strew that and everything that moved in the garden. We used to leave the uh, central heating on while we'd go out, so when you come home it was nice and warm and until you got the gas bill. Me and my neighbour, we would, um, on a regular basis in summer, we would actually have both sprinklers going um, at either house and we'd be to and from, to and from. Uh, many, many years ago, didn't think twice about flicking a butt out the window or dropping it on the ground and moving on. Really just lots of energy wasting, having three TV sets running in rooms where there's no one watching them. Um, stuff like, you know, using a clothes dryer at the height of summer out of just laziness. At home, um, we have switched to green energy, so we won't buy coal-fired electricity. Yeah, I bought, I bought a water tank the other day, about a week ago. Three thousand, three and a half thousand litre water tank. We're a one-car family and the car doesn't get used a lot during the week. I ride to work every day. I think just become re a lot more conscious of water and, and uh, resources as far as energy and stuff like those, considering the amount of coal that Australia burn for their electricity. Wear a cap on my head during Winter and that, it certainly keeps you warmer and you don't feel as cold and maybe if you're just sitting down in front of the TV, just put a, a rug over you and that. I mean, our aim is, I suppose, to be as self-sustaining as possible. Having a, a zero net emission policy, I think, is a great start. It's, it's, it's pretty inspiring, and especially from my perspective working in this area. People often look at Moreland and say, wow, you guys are doing great things, this is, this is exciting. At the moment we've got a, a group of directors and they're called the Climate Change Task Force and they meet quarterly and review our climate action plan. We have a scheme where council employees can purchase a bike uh, with an interest-free loan from council. It's got the solar pergola at the front of the council, so that goes towards our energy. We make sure that um, all of the lights are turned off when the halls are not being used. At this council we have a, um, a worm farm which uh, the, count, uh, the council staff utilise with um, their scrap food and waste that, um, that they have in the kitchens throughout the uh, town hall and that's a portion of that is put into the, uh, the worm farm and that helps to cut down on landfill and hopefully um, uh, emissions. I know because I do the accounts, I know that the water bills are a lot less than what they were, so they're obviously doing the right thing in the parks. We've got a uniform level of service across the municipality with, uh, with mobile bins for both garbage, recycling and also for green waste. But it's also about awareness. I think Council's now really starting to help the community with this awareness. We've developed a STEPS tool, which is a building sustainability tool. The idea of that is to say to people, when you're building a house, think about the thermal mass and think about water storage and those sorts of things to really inform and educate the community. Part of our role is to raise that awareness with the developers. So there's things that the developers can do uh, to um, make their buildings more sustainable, to use sustainable materials or to make the buildings more energy efficient. The whole council focus now is not so much about roads, rates and rubbish, it's about climate change and how we as a community and society respond to what really is one of the preeminent issues. We had more than we got them, and more Energy Foundation um, Limited, MEFL, um, educating the community about energy matters, educating the community about water matters. Well, it's not possible for everybody to put solar panels on their roof immediately or to put a wind turbine in their backyard. One way that we can all support renewable electricity generation is through purchasing a green power plan from our electricity retailer. Some of the really simple ways that we can get started on improving our energy efficiency is by doing things like changing over our existing incandescent globes for compact fluorescence, which use 80% less energy installing insulation, especially in the ceiling, and looking at putting in low flow shower heads or water efficient shower heads in place of our existing ones. One of the easiest things that you can do to save energy around the office is to turn your computer screen off when you're walking away from your computer. A screen saver itself won't save you any energy, and in fact sometimes it will use more energy, but turning the screen off at the switch will save a lot of energy. I feel it's very important that um, our generation 
make some sort of change or some sort of start because um, our kids are probably going to have to make the really tough decisions and uh, I think if we don't do something really positive or take some drastic action now, um, I don't think there's going to be much of a world for our uh, kids or their kids' kids. One of the things that I think we need to do is actually remain positive about the future. There's so many small, small actions which if they are multiplied up on a large scale by people worldwide would have enormous impact. We're in a position at the moment where we have the solutions. We have renewable energy and there's huge gains that can be made in energy efficiencies. So now it's about us making a choice. It's about how we choose to live, the sorts of behaviours we have at home and also here in the workplace.